we are hustling and bustling this morning and sometimes on mornings like this when we're just doing our thing I forget to pick up the camera we're just gonna continue on with our day and keep trucking two tablespoons of sugar and then Emma get your spoon and get ready to mix can I mix next? You can mix next. While Emma's mixing, you gotta put away the sugar and the flour, okay? And the spoons. Okay. I had to feed my sourdough starter this morning, so I decided to mix up a double batch of discard pancakes. So it's just the discard of the sourdough. We use two cups of sourdough and four cups of flour, because we make a double batch. Four tablespoons, actually Shiloh, you need two more tablespoons of sugar. Four tablespoons of sugar and four cups of buttermilk. So we're gonna mix that double batch of pancake and waffle mix up and we're gonna let it sit for 12 hours. And then tonight, Lord willing, I'm gonna make all those pancakes up and put them in a Ziploc bag and freeze them for a busy morning or a snack or something. Just because I have to use the discard anyway, so I might as well not waste it. Our pancake batter is now all mixed up and we're gonna put a plate over the top of our bowl and let it sit for 12 hours. It's really simple, y'all. We have to climb around this RV a lot to get things done because in a fifth wheel, things are higher, they're taller rather than at our height. Plus, we're all really short. <laughs> so to reach the freezers or our bulk goods up there, I don't know if you guys can see them, we have to climb. <laughs> we have a lot of projects going on right now. We are trying to clean out the dehydrator. That's what Evan's doing. Evan is cleaning out the dehydrator because we're gonna dehydrate some squash today. Owen is making our favorite smoothie, which is peanut butter, oats, banana, and milk with a splash of vanilla. And Emma is cleaning up our sourdough pancake mess. Abby is peeling bananas and putting them in a Ziploc for the freezer for future banana bread or future smoothies because they get ripe really fast in this RV. And that's it, we're just hustling to get all this stuff done. Oh, and I have a chicken in the Instant Pot that is cooling down so I can shred it and jar up that broth. We add a scoop of collagen to most of our smoothies as long as I can remember. Sometimes I forget to add it in there, but if I remember, that scoop of collagen is really good. After our grocery haul video, I got a question asking what our meals look like for the week, and I commented what they would be. I'm gonna see if I can remember them off the top of my head. Um, we keep a lot of staples on hand, rice and beans and wheat, to build our meals off of and to fill our meals up. So, so our meals for this week looked like potato soup, which I'm gonna harvest some potatoes from our garden, and I had some leftover from the week before. So potato soup, chicken and dumplings, um, rice and beans are always a staple and a really good filler. So we're gonna have rice and rice and bean burrito bowls. We're going to have chicken and rice tacos, and red beans and rice was a meal that we have for this week. Um, I think we're gonna have a teriyaki rice meal. I know it's a lot of rice, and I know there's a lot of fillers, but we use that protein really wisely, and that meat stretches very far for us. Um, we are definitely going to have a taco salad this week, and then leftovers are always important for lunch. So I try and make a big enough batch of something to have that for leftovers throughout the week. I know I'm going through this really fast, but our life is crazy. <laughs> My real life is really crazy. <laughs> Remember all those squash that we grabbed from the Amish? Well today we are finally getting around to slicing them up and filling the dehydrator with them so that we can dehydrate them for future soups. 
This is our dehydrator. It's an Excalibur and it's broken at the top. The top is cracked a little bit. I don't know if you guys can see that. I've always used the really inexpensive white dehydrators that are round. Um, I think somebody gave us one for free when we first moved here to Tennessee and that's the one I've always used. I've made beef, I've made beef jerky in it. We've dehydrated apples in it. We've used it time and time again. Well, I got rid of it when we moved back to California because when you purge, you just purge whatever you can't keep. <laughs> so we got rid of it when we moved back to California last summer. And then when we moved back to Tennessee last fall, I found this one on Facebook Marketplace for $60. And Brandon ran and picked it up for me at a town really close to us. Um, so I know these are really expensive, but my tip to you would be to get the really affordable ones because they work just as good or to keep an eye out for used stuff because even though it's cracked on the top, that's why it was so cheap, it still works just fine. When you don't have much space, you have to make do. So we laid a towel down on the couch and laid out some dehydrator trays so we can load them up and pop them into our dehydrator. Asher's finally asleep, so I'm gonna have him take his nap down here on our couch because I have the little girls watching a movie up in my room right there, right there, <laughs> on a laptop. So we can get the squash done and chicken shredded and stuff started for dinner. We have an abundance of cucumbers coming out of the garden and my kids like pretty much anything spicy. So we found this at Walmart last week. We tried it and they actually really like it. It's Mrs. Wages One Step Pickle. So it's a pre-made brine. You throw it into a quart size, nope, a pint size jar and um, put your cucumbers in there and put a lid on it, put it in the refrigerator and in about 24 to 48 hours, they're nice and spicy. I need to use up those cucumbers this week. One thing I've noticed about Garden Fresh veggies over the years is they don't hold up well. You have to use them up quickly. So if you pick them from the garden, they're gonna start getting squishy and losing their um, density, losing their crunch um, really quickly. So we're gonna use up some of these cucumbers in this Mrs. Wages quick pickle recipe. And then as soon as my dehydrator is off of my stove, which is where it's at currently, <laughs> we have very, very limited counter space in this RV. So as soon as the dehydrator is done and off of the stove, I am going to make a brine for pickles and I'll pickle some pickles. Right, guys my camera's dying I'm gonna charge the battery and hopefully if it charges quick enough I'll wrap up this video when all these projects are done and show you what we got accomplished today our battery is all charged up and we strained off that chicken that we were cooking in the instant pot we separated the shredded chicken 
into a Ziploc bag. Then we have the carcass and another Ziploc bag, which I'll show you here, and the bra. I strained into quart jars, and I'm going to can those up now. This was another really good find, my Presto canner. I have had a Presto or a pressure canner on my wish list for years, and I search for them every time I go to thrift stores. Well, I found this one. I can't even remember how much I paid for it. I think it was around $30. I have a video about it, actually. I found this one at a tiny little thrift store here in Tennessee, and I was so excited. It was like my favorite thrift store find of the year. <laughs> So to pressure can stock, it's super easy. All you do is make sure your stock is strained and in hot clean jars and the stock is hot. You bring your pressure canner up to a boil and you pressure can it for 25 minutes for quarts on 10 pounds pressure or at 10 pounds pressure. So this is what we got from our chicken that I just took out of the Instant Pot. This is all the shredded chicken we got and I'll be able to split this up between two meals. This is the carcass that I'm gonna save and collect another one or two in there to make bone broth. And these are the carrots that were cooked with the chicken. Oh, there's some chicken in there too. But these are the carrots and I am gonna mash those up for Asher for baby food. Nourishing traditions um, suggest to feed babies starting at around six months um, meat stocks or broths. I'm gonna use meat stock. Um, so to suggest meat stocks and really well cooked veggies and then some yogurt gradually. So we're gonna start with meat stocks this week and then I'll add in some of those cooked carrots and then usually we add in an avocado after that. And we're just gonna see how it goes, see what he likes. While I'm waiting for the pressure canner pressure to rise, I thought I'd chat with you guys about why I am canning. This last weekend, our generator went out and I was in the middle of cooking a pot of beans in our Instant Pot. And that was dinner, was that pot of beans. So we had to come up with a plan B, which is hard in our kind of a situation. And it got me thinking, well, why don't I have canned goods? And I know we don't have a lot of space. So we're gonna work on setting up our trailer that you see back there, setting up a little shelf in there for our canned goods. But in the meantime, I'm packing in these canned goods underneath our beds in any nook and cranny that I can find in our RV because I need to have food on hand if the power goes out. And I thought that might be something that you're worried about too. I know this pandemic is crazy, but it might be smart to have some pre-made meals canned up or ready meals canned up just in case. Um, my friend Carolyn over at Homesteading Family has a really great recipe for loaded potato soup in the pressure canner. She also has a really great um, baked beans recipe. So that's one of the main reasons why I'm canning, to make sure I have food ready for when we need it, just in case we have a really late night or we don't have power and I'm in the middle of dinner. <laughs> so I have something to feed this crew. Things like beans and chicken broth and even those ready-made soups that are homemade and full of really nutritious things like potato soup are great to have on hand in an emergency and, and just for convenience, homemade convenience food. Okay guys, my canner is done. My 25 minutes are up, my canning is done. I have it turned off and it's gonna depressurize and cool down on its own. We are actually headed to go fill up our water tank tonight. So I'm gonna end this vlog here and just tell you guys thank you so much for hanging out with us. Thank you for spending your time watching our videos and watching our family grow. We so appreciate you being here. I hope you guys have a lovely evening and I will see you guys on the next one. There's only four jars tonight, but every little bit counts.